There's days that you go, what am I doing this? Am I nuts? Greg Griswold, who casually goes by Grisby, has spent 30 years caring for bees. Today, Champion Hill Farms has nearly 200 hives scattered across Benzie County. The bees themselves are fascinating. I learn something new about them every year. You know, they're just amazing, resilient, industry of creatures. He bravely enters the hives every week. Spring is a busy time of year. This is when they all start to wake up. Uh, a couple days ago, uh, I was in one of my locations. I could tell the bees had just found the pussy willows because as I'm working the bees and blocking the entrance, a cloud of bees was behind me covered with you know, all their pollen sacks full of yellow pollen. He let us tag along too. We dove right in as Greg introduced new bees to his hives that didn't make it through the long winter. You actually graft this, what you call graft. That's all right, I just want to make sure you didn't crawl up your sweatshirt. That's the worst. Oh. Um, <laughs> the bees are not aggressive in nature, but they will defend their hives. See the bees coming out? So I just give them a little puff. They're too busy uh, taking care of business. You know, they're too busy uh, working and get to the nectar source, get back. To do this job with bare hands, you have got to stay calm and have no fear. And so, but the key is you don't want to swat them. Don't ever. swat at them. Remember the stories of Winnie the Pooh always searching for honey? Well, that holds some truth in Benzie County. Greg has to put up electric fences just to keep the bears away. Well, bears do what they do. Uh, they're actually after the larva, you know, the, there's, a, there's a ball of larva inside of each one of these hives. And that is what they're, they're seeking and the honey's kind of like uh, frosting on the cake. But as Greg says, the bees are incredibly resilient. And I have to do this, little, little tonk. This, they don't like this either, of course. Hundreds of thousands of them will overtake these hives this summer. A thousand bees will hatch right there. Wow. You know, when you start doing the math, count 10 by 10 here. How honey. much honey will these, will this hive produce in a season? I want it to produce 100 pounds, but it may not. It's, 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 you never know. Even though it's tough, Greg says there is a lot of things to love. My favorite thing about this job is I'm outdoors every day. I see things every day. But it's not all relaxing. Lots of dirty work, like you said, hard work. I call it the Armstrong method, which means everything's heavy and you gotta move it around. Do you wanna lift that just to get an idea? Yeah. Of how heavy it is? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's quite <laughs> heavy. <laughs> and the bees are always surprising him. It's something that's really bizarre that I, I don't know if it's bizarre, but it's a thought I finally came to the realization of is that uh, a colony of bees has can have 50,000 individual bees in it, but they operate like one organism. No matter how crazy his job may sound, Greg wouldn't trade it for anything. He harvests hundreds of pounds of prized honey every season and does this work with a smile. It's fun. I like it. <laughs> Even though occasionally you'll, somebody will ask you, what is it about working with stinging insects that, and, you know, what is it you like about that? <laughs> I guess I don't even think about that part. <laughs> <laughs> In Benzie County, Samantha Radicke for 9 and 10 News at 6.